Have you ever had a dream, Neo, that you were so sure was real? What if you were unable to wake from that dream? How would you know the difference between the dream world and the real world? Buckle your seatbelt, Dorothy, because Kansas is going bye-bye. While we were making the first Matrix, I felt like that it's something beyond yourself. It's big. <laughs> The experience of making the movies was such a transformative time in my life. It was such an opportunity of a lifetime. I remember leaving the movie theater knowing that things were just going to be different in my life. You can't quantify how much it changed the world. I walked out of the theater and thought to myself, finally somebody gets me. I watched it, went out, bought another ticket, and watched it again. Blew my mind, blew everybody else's mind. So what do you need besides a miracle? Guns. Lots of guns. These massive sequences with cars flipping. And explosions everywhere. Bullet time. Slow motion, man. That's the most iconic thing that I remember. Neo dodging the bullets. I never thought dodge this was going to be a big deal. Dodge this. I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. The ambition of its thought. Try to realize the truth. There is no spoon. I'm amazed at their point of view about reality and about the human brain. It altered people's thoughts. What is real? What is reality? Even in my own life, just looking around and being like, oh my god, we're in the Matrix. I would literally think that. Mr. Anderson. It's sort of impossible to articulate how it's seeped into our minds and culture. I can't even remember not having seen it. I can't remember my life before the world of the Matrix. What do you know you can't explain? But you feel it. Matrix. Do you want to know what it is? The Matrix as an idea has lasted 20 years. People use terminology like, are you going to take the red pill? You're either going to take that blue pill or you're going to take the red. Everything entered pop culture and stayed. We say a glitch in the Matrix, the fact that that's part of the lexicon. Oh, deja vu. A deja vu is usually a glitch in the Matrix. It happens when they change something. I think this is one of the few movies that has really has seeped its way into every kind of facet of popular culture. Oh, I'll run into young people who've done college courses. All of the philosophies and ideas around the Matrix. It's this amazing, magical, mythological world that has been created using numbers and digits. But it's actually about consciousness. It's actually about thought. Billions of people just living out their lives. You'll hear the sentences, the Matrix changed my life. So I say thank you, change mine too.